Hello students, myself Rashmi Adur from Department of Physics, KLS Gokte Institute of Technology, Belgaum. Today I will be discussing few CT questions with their solutions on the topic moving charges and magnetism. With the first question, a magnet in the form of cylindrical rod has length 10 cm and diameter 1 cm. It has uniform magnetization of 5.3 10 to the power minus 3 ampere per meter. Its magnetic moment is option A 4.16 millijoules per tesla, option B 4.16 microjoules per tesla, option C 41.6 millijoules per tesla, and option D, 41.6 microjoules per tesla. From this, clearly we can see option B and option D are incorrect answers because whatever the SI units they have given in the problem, they are around a centimeter, centimeter and meter. So here, when you we have a, some rough idea, when you go for a magnetization calculation, if you have a SI units about centimeter and meter like that thing, you will not get a result with the micro. That much small you will not get. Therefore, you can, rect you can remove B and D options and you can concentrate on A and C, which is a correct answer. Use the formula of magnetization, magnetic moment divided by volume. What we have, if we are calculating for a magnetic moment, obviously equate for magnetic moment, you will get uh, magnetization into volume. So volume standard equation you use, uh, substitute the value of magnetization, it is 5.3 into 10 to the power minus 3 and we have uh, diameter, so convert in terms of radius. So what you will get? 41.6 millijoules per tesla. Therefore, uh, option C is a correct one. Here we have a second question. Magnetic field intensity at the center of coil of 50 turns and radius 0.5 meter which is carrying a current of 2 ampere is 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla. Option B 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 tesla. Option C 3 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla and option D 4 into 10 to the power minus 5 tesla. So this is we have a standard equation I n mu naught divided by 2 r. So substitute the values mu naught is 4 pi into 10 to the power minus 7 current value is 2 and how many turns n uh, is a turns so n is 50 turns and divided by 2 radius is 0.5 meter. So simple calculation we have 1.25 into 10 to the power minus 4 is a correct answer. So option B is a correct one. A charge Q moves in a circular path of radius R at the rate of n revolutions per second. The magnetic field produced at the center of the circuit path is mu naught n q divided by r, b mu naught pi q divided by r, option c mu naught q divided by 2 r and option d mu naught q divided by 2 n r. So what is the solution? Charge in the circular motion is equivalent to a current loop. So the electric current associated with this is given by charge divided by T. Okay, 1 over T is a N. Therefore, from this we can see option D is a wrong answer because in the denominator we will not get a N value. It will come in the numerator. Magnetic field at the center of the circular path is given by mu naught i divided by 2r. What is i value? i is n q. 
So what we will get the right answer? Mu naught n q divided by 2 r. That is option A is a correct one. Here we have a fourth question. For protecting a sensitive equipment from the external magnetic field, it should be placed inside an aluminium can or placed inside an iron can or wrapped with an isolation insulation around it when passing current through it. Option D, surrounded by a fine copper sheet ion is a ferromagnetic substance. There are no magnetic field lines inside a ferromagnetic substance. So here we have to, to protect the sensitive equipment from the external magnetic field. It should be placed in the can which is made up with a ferromagnetic material. So, inside the can ferromagnetic material it may, is made up with the iron. So, what is the correct answer? Option B is a correct one. So, here in the solution you can see a sensitive equipment may be protected by placing it inside the can made of ferromagnetic substance. Hence, it is placed inside an iron can. Therefore, option B is a correct answer. Thank you.